Hello and welcome back to The Shannon Show. So today's episode is going to be a review of Love Island 2019 episode 43. So today's episode was the aftermath of Michael aka Trash leaving the villa and we were kind of anticipating the newspaper headline challenge but then obviously there's this massive plot twist at the end of the episode but I'll get into that later. So recapping on the daily goings on of the house, Anna is upset because Jordan and her have been in the bottom two, kind of three times now in the bottom two and she's kind of thinking, you know, why don't the public like them? I'm thinking it's one of three reasons. One, maybe she's thinking that there's something in the relationship that's going wrong that perhaps she's not seeing. Obviously, she doesn't see everything that goes on. Two, she's probably thinking, shit, we're not going to win the 50k. Or number three, shit, the public don't like us. And obviously, public perception is important because not only will that kind of give them an indication of how well they're doing the show, obviously, coming out, they're going to be anticipating some drama, some backlash, perhaps. And all of those things are going going to affect the bag that they're making once they leave the house because... The real money starts once they leave the house. So she's probably thinking like, am I going to mess up my promotions, my sponsorships? Is that going to mess things up for me? Probably in the head. Those are kind of the three reasons I'm thinking as to, as to why she's upset. But let me know what why you think that she's upset. Jordan does a good job at reassuring her. But obviously now that kind of seems very cynical. But Jordan does a good job at reassuring her. And at this point... I think all of us were thinking Jordan is this great, really nice boyfriend. Chris is also getting quite emotional. I don't really understand why Chris was crying. He's literally been in there barely a week. He's giving this speech, you know, I haven't really fitted in anywhere. And I just like to say, like, side note, like, you actually only got one vote. Like, you really could have gone home. So all of this, you know, I really didn't fit in anywhere I'm a bit confused and but then I kind of understand it maybe he's you know there's only like realistically his longest stint even if he makes it to the final would be two weeks but maybe perhaps he's thinking like I've I've just got on this show like he was he's probably been applying for this show since it started possibly and he's thinking like I finally got into the show obviously he would have probably preferred to be on in the beginning he's just got in the show like literally a week he's probably thinking all of these people on the outside are probably chatting all of this shit about me like going in the show and then if I go out I've barely been in here a week if I leave today if I had left today that would have just been embarrassing maybe that's where his head frame was that's maybe why he was getting a bit emotional And obviously I've talked about him, how I feel about him, how I feel like his humour is very forced. And I feel like this kind of like makes things very clear for me because he's talking about he's never fitted in. And perhaps that's why he kind of forces it with the humour because that's the only way that he's had to like, he's, he's ever fitted in anywhere by not necessarily being himself, but perhaps being this funny guy so that people warm to him and that's what people like about him rather than him himself as a core human being. I'm not sure if that was too deep or not, but, you know, you get, I, hopefully you get what I mean. Tommy is talking about, like, oh, they're, they're also blessed to be here. Again, I'm, I'm confused. Like, they're literally on a reality TV show. The only thing I can talk, think about them being blessed is the money, the serious money that they're about to make once they leave that villa. Ovi and India but mostly Ovi makes breakfast for the house and at that point I'm just thinking I'm seeing the eggs the eggs looks really good like literally like there is no food in my house right now I'm so hungry I'm probably gonna have to get takeaway after this and seeing that toast just made me so hungry I'm contemplating meeting Ovi at Gatwick airport Chris and Harley go out on a date it was cutish you know they're making bread I don't know what really these dates are, they aren't really what I consider proper dates. But yeah, Harley's kind of growing on me. After that, there's obviously the headlines. Now, the headlines could have been juicier, way juicier, but they were juicier than I thought they were gonna be. I, I was skeptical, I was thinking, 
it's going to be lukewarm again. But there was quite some interesting headlines. I didn't note them down word for word, but I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. Amber's mum says that she sees a spark with Ovi. I don't know if there's still Amber and Ovi shippers out there, but obviously I guess maybe that made them happy. I still don't feel like Amber is attracted to Ovi, like I've said before in my prior podcast. The, the rumours out there that Amber ex- exclusively doesn't date darker black boys, and I feel like from what I've seen in the house, she doesn't. And if she did, then she'd obviously be with Ovi right now. Like, there'd be no reason why she wouldn't be with Ovi. Amber kind of plays it off like, oh, you know, of course her mum would say that because she obviously fancies Ovi. And obviously Amber's mum is the one who's white. So obviously she's got a thing for black guys. Hence Amber's existence. Maura gets called fake for liking Curtis. Obviously, that's been, you know, ever since the conception of their relationship, people have been calling it fake. I don't really know. I don't really care. I definitely know that they are both playing a really big game. Obviously, there was also a tweet. There was also, it wasn't a tweet. If I've been saying tweet all this time, just ignore it. Newspaper headlines. If there was a newspaper headline that said, there was a newspaper headline that said that Curtis is the biggest player in the house. Obviously, they are, everybody in that house is playing a game. Make no mistake, everyone is. But, yeah, they're playing a game. I feel like they're both playing a good game, and that's that, really. Like, I don't think there's really much that can be said, like, oh, Curtis and Curtis should be wearing because Maura is playing a game. Oh, Maura, Maura should be worried because Curtis is playing a game. Like, we, they're both playing a game. Like, it is what it is. Anton's mum has gotten, like, loads of followers now after her stint on After Sun. I really couldn't care less. I still think Anton is trash. Everyone's saying how funny... Anton's mum was on after some but and Anton's mum was there condoning his trash ass blackface so I don't care how many followers Anton's mum has oh, we, we always I feel like most of us knew Molly was probably going to be a target there was a newspaper headline that said that Molly is pretending to be happy for Maura and Curtis I don't think this is a lie. I feel like Molly is pretending to be happy for every single couple. Molly just wants the 50k right now. She just wants the big cast injection. Obviously, everyone's gonna everyone's probably gonna make like at least at least 25k once they come up through their PAs. But you know, who wouldn't want an extra 25k? Like who wouldn't? There was a headline that said that Anton is fake for going back to bell after the public vote obviously that was a strategic move he got too big for his boots he re- and then he realized that bell really is the only girl that would have him on the show like this whole time so he went back with her that really wasn't really a surprise i don't think that is gonna be a cause of anything and then obviously there's another tweet about anton or basically anton's best friend has gone to the press and said, well, supposedly his best friend, has gone to the press and said that he thinks that Belle isn't being genuine. Obviously, there's some drama off the back of that. And then the last one was that Love Island fans think that Chris and Maura are meant to be together. I have not seen one tweet in recent times that has said that Chris and Maura should be together. I don't know. Maybe that was maybe on the first day when he came. Maybe. But in recent times, I haven't seen that. So obviously that was that was put in the spanner. That was, that was strategically put in the works there. I think that was definitely strategically put in by the producers. Because within the last week, I haven't seen any such tweets. I haven't seen any such poll. I thought it was going to say Love Island fans think Amber and Ovi should be together. If anyone, if I've been hearing that someone should, a couple should be together, I've been hearing Amber and Ovi. So I'm surprised that that wasn't the tweet. Maura and Chris, I didn't think they made a good couple. The fallout from the newspaper article headlines, Harley is not happy with Chris's behaviour. Obviously we see Chris... Um, the challenge was that um, with the newspaper headlines, there was blank. So this the public thinks blank about this person blank. And then you had to like throw the drink. And then the islanders had to throw the drinks at who they thought it was about. Chris, for the 
um, these two islanders are meant to be together. He threw it on himself and he threw it on India. Now that, and I can understand totally why Harley was upset. And I feel like Chris should have used logic at that point because he was actively pursuing India before Harley. So him throwing it on himself and then going out of his way to throw it on India, even if he thought that that was the tweet, even if he thought it in his head, is basically telling Harley that he likes India and is basically kind of indicating that Harley was the, his second choice and that he's not he doesn't like her as much as he's been letting on and that if India was to come around and say, hey, Chris, I want to I wanna be with you now, that he would t- definitely ditch Harley for her. That's what all of these things are saying. And he's trying to kind of like logic it, logic, logicalize it as, oh, but I was just doing the challenge. I was just doing the challenge. Like, bitch, you didn't win anything. You didn't win no party. You didn't win no drink. You didn't win no night in the hideaway. So you should have been using your logic and thinking, even if I think it, it's not it, it wouldn't it wouldn't look right and it, it would clearly upset the the girl that I'm coupled up with and the girl that I'm coupled up with wouldn't like it. So Harley basically is not taking the excuses, not taking any shit, and she basically says that she's done and she's gonna put her happiness before. Obviously, like I said before, Chris wasn't Harley's type. Her type is obviously she said Michael and obviously so that's mixed race guys, black guys. So she's probably thinking like, why am I, why am I gonna be here, stand here, be disrespected by somebody who's not even my first choice? Like I don't even like this guy like that, and he's already disrespected me. Now nah, I'm it. You know, there's only a week left. It's not that deep. Like hasta la vista. I definitely rate Harley for that. She's definitely, she's set her standards and she's not going to compromise her standards for a show where they'll all be out in a week anyway. Like she knows she's not going to win the 50k. So what's the point in staying with Chris, who's just a fool? That was my good behaviour from Chris, but at the end of the day, like he's probably thinking himself, I don't feel like I should have to be ultra sensitive around this person when we've literally been together a day. Perhaps that's where his mind frame was. It still wasn't anything nice to do, but it was it was a bit of a muggy move from Chris. But do I feel like he's trash because of it? No, because he clearly didn't like Harley and yeah, I just feel like he probably shouldn't have gassed up that relationship so much because if he hadn't gassed it up so much, maybe she wouldn't have been as upset. Ovi is also triggered by the tweet that says, oh no, I forgot to say, there was also, um, not a tweet, sorry, I keep saying tweet, but um, newspaper, he was triggered by the newspaper headline that said that India only likes him for the 50K or is like basically using him for the 50k he's triggered about it he's talking about how oh he's had problems in the past because girls have been using him for his money all of this stuff blah 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 at first I'm just thinking ah oh, not one of these guys that think that every girl is after him for his money like first off he's not in the NBA I doubt he's really making that much pee because if he was making that much pee I doubt he'd be on Love Island like come on guys Second, I'm just hypersensitive to the narrative that girls are like, you know, are scroungers and, you know, they're they're after athletes and stuff because they just want them for their money. Ovi, he's an attractive guy. If Ovi was, it was under average looking and was ugly, then okay, maybe he'd have the argument that girls are only with him for his money. But I mean, look at Ovi. It obviously wasn't just that. And obviously, again, like I said, I don't like the whole narrative of like, girls only being with certain guys for their money like if we look at the statistics that's certainly not the case expecting a little gift here and there you know I don't think there's anything wrong with it then again who am I I'm not I don't I'm not Ovi I don't know what his relationships have been maybe some people with him have taken the piss maybe some you know when he was sleeping he woke up he found all of these delivery charges on his on his card Who knows? But I'm just not here for the whole narrative of girls are only with me for my money because I'm an athlete. When we we all know he's not making that much money. Come on. And obviously that puts India in an awkward situation. And then also it's kind of like, bitch, like, it's two weeks left. Like, 
Who who else is India going to couple up with? It was either you or Chris. Like, come on. Who do you expect India to have picked? Get over yourself, Ovi. I'm sorry. I love Ovi, but Ovi just needs to get over himself. And now India is there, just awkward, like... It's just awkward when it doesn't need to be. Elle is annoyed at Anton's friend, which is reasonable. Like, of course, it's a seedy thing to do to not only put that in the public, but to go to a newspaper and say that he was probably paid off for that story. Anton is saying like he's having doubts now because it's one of his good friends. But I'm just thinking like, but your good friend has gone to the press like, you know, we don't know. Obviously, lots of times, like, you know, the press could just come up to you and, like, just put a microphone in your face and be like, what do you think about this? And then you say something and then they just go and put it in an article. So I don't know if the friend, if it was that kind of situation, like a TMZ situation, or whether he actually put, went to the newspapers and said, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what I think for this amount of money. But either way, I think if this was your best friend, you would know that all of these press people would be on your on your case trying to get a story so they can put into their newspapers. So the first, if that my friend was in the villa right now, if any press had come to me, the first thing I'm saying is no comment. Everybody knows that the press are slimy and grimy. So why would you even want to talk to them? So I would even be side eyeing my friend first. Honestly, Anton, I don't see why he should get worked up about it. There's literally a, w a week left. If he's smart, he's not going to make a big deal out of it. And I doubt anything big will come of it. They might have a little argument, but I feel like we all know they're going to just get back together again. And they've probably got a spot in the final, them being a couple. And I feel like they both know that them together are a strong couple and them staying together would solidify it at least a spot in the final. There's also another headline about Molly saying that she was faking her love for Tommy. We don't really see the fallout for that. Maybe we'll see that next episode, but it seems like they've kind of handled that quite well. I think before they've kind of like had a talk before, like she probably knew what was coming up and they had a talk before and they kind of ironed that out. So yeah, I don't think that's gonna cause a rift in their relationship to the point where it would compromise their relationship in the house. So yeah, I feel like Molly and Tommy will be good. In yesterday's kind of podcast, I thought maybe they might reveal that India is like, um, is a sex worker. They didn't, they didn't reveal anything like that, but perhaps maybe they were wary of putting things like that because of the whole situation where there was a situation with the girl that killed herself. She was a stripper and I feel like um, in that I didn't watch that series but I feel like some derogatory, derogatory stuff was said to her about her line of work so perhaps maybe they didn't want to put that in because they didn't want to invite that in obviously the first look literally stole the whole show the first look Jordan is now saying that his head is going to be turned his head is turning for India I can't believe it I actually can't believe it but then I can believe it do you know why Look at the company that Jordan has been keeping in that house. He was backing Michael. He was telling Michael, go back, go, you know, go back with Amber. He was telling Amber to go back with Michael. And I was thinking, why is he enforcing this relationship when he knows that Michael has been trash, trash? Do you know why? Because he himself is a member of the trash society. You see the way he was defending Danny? You see the way he was defending Michael? Now see the behaviour. Not even two days after he's now confessed his like for, for Anna. He's got a girlfriend now. He's got a full-on girlfriend now. And then after that speech today with Anna, reassuring Anna not to be upset and that they were solid and that everything was fine, he's now saying that his head is turning for India. Honestly... I don't think anything will come of it. I hope that he doesn't pursue it because either way, it's going to backfire on him. India is not going to trade Ovi for Jordan. I may perhaps maybe he think because he he won it with Anna, maybe he's got a chance with India. But India is definitely not. India is definitely not going to drop Ovi for Jordan. He's very confident if he thinks that India over because he won Anna over. I mean. Not to compare, but, you know, I feel like 
Anna and India are definitely on different vibes being that close to the final I don't think India would compromise it obviously she knows Ovi's a favorite she wouldn't want to get on the public's bad side even if by any chance that she did like Jordan more than Ovi so I feel like if Jordan even pursues if he even pursues India it's gonna it's gonna blow up in his face and then he's gonna have to deal with Anna and Anna is already already quite insecure so I already feel sorry for Anna he's already told somebody I think it was Curtis who he told and I'm just thinking that's gonna spread so there's gonna be drama in the last week between Anna and Jordan for sure but what are we thinking do you feel like Jordan is trash now I definitely think he's he's trash because the way that he was going on like he was this loyal boyfriend and literally uh, 24 hours before sh- reassuring Anna and now his head's being turned for India. After their boyfriend and girlfriend, it's not even like they're in the dating stage or they've even exclusive boyfriend and girlfriend. Jordan swiped his card in the trash society. What do we think? Do you feel like Jordan has a chance with India? And do we feel like this is like the beginning of the end of Jordan and Anna? And what did we think about today's episode and the fallout? So one key note that I'd like to say is perhaps Jordan's head is turning because I guess Anna Anna has been annoying. She has been annoying. But also they've been in the bottom consistently three, three weeks in a row. And perhaps, even though I feel like the public like Jordan more, perhaps he's self-centred enough to think that it is Anna and that perhaps if he jumps ship he'll be able to save himself and that is why he is jumping ship now because he knows that if he sticks with Anna he's going to consistently be in the bottom and then he has no chance of being in the final what are we thinking guys on twitter it's quite negative for Molly a lot of people are saying that she's fake and that she knows that she's fake and she knows that she's been caught out and a lot of people are saying, you know, how she she loves it when other couples are having like misfortune or arguing. I think those are true. And and then I've seen a few tweets saying that, you know, they hope that she's getting care and that she is being looked after because she they feel like the producers are trying to make her feel like everyone sees her negatively on the outside. And I feel like they the, the producers are targeting Molly a bit because they know that Molly will kick off and they know that Molly is a bit of a warrior. And even within the edit, they're making Molly seem as if she's a scheming person. So, but then again, like, if that's all the material that they have to work with, perhaps that's how she really is in the house. Um, I can tell that she definitely worries about it. But then perhaps maybe she should just stop putting her... Her, her nose in other people's business and just start focusing on her and Tommy. Surprise, there's a lot of love for Ovi on Twitter. A lot of people are saying that they love that he can cook and that they'd love to have his poached eggs. I definitely like to try it. I could definitely see him having his own cooking show. And a lot I've seen a, a lot of tweets saying that he shouldn't be with India and that he should be with Amber. Are we still shipping him and Amber to be together? I feel like that ship has sailed. I don't think that's going to happen. But are we are we kind of settled with the fact that he's going to be with India pretty much for the rest of the the, the end, pretty much for the rest of the, the season, which is coming to an end anyway? Which, do we like India and Ovi as a couple or, or not? Are we suspicious of India? There's also a lot of support for Belle online. A lot of people are liking her energy. People like that she's feisty and she's always ready for a fight and she's always ready to back herself. And I've seen a lot of tweets kind of mentioning, obviously, in the preview yesterday, they made it seem as if like Belle, Belle was throwing a drink at, at Molly in like some dramatic fashion, like perhaps like she was doing it maliciously. Obviously, that wasn't the case. That was a bit of a catfish. I already knew the Love Island producers would not let any love and hip hop shit run on their show. So I already knew that was a catfish right there. A lot of people are calling out Anton. A lot of people are calling out his friend too. And a lot of people are kind of saying that he cares what people think too much, what other people think too much. I think he's definitely very friend orientated. I feel like he's one of those people that puts his friend before 
his friends before anything else in his life. So, yeah. But I do feel like he's going to get... He's going to kind of patch things up with Belle. I don't know if he'll confront his friend, though, on the outside. Doubt it. And as you can probably guess, there's a lot of negativity for Jordan on Twitter. A lot of people feel like he's trash and he's a liar. And a lot of people feel like this is definitely money money or gameplay oriented his move to now move to India obviously he now realizes he's not going to win with Anna so he's now trying to move on to India a lot of people feel like they don't really like because obviously Ovi is very popular they don't like how he's trying to step on Ovi's toes again I feel like Ovi will win the fight this time and then a lot of people are kind of saying that you know Anna is probably going to wish that she picked Ovi over Jordan because obviously this now trash behavior that he's exhibiting so yeah and if you haven't yet follow me on twitter my handle is at shannon fabuloso that's s-h-a-n-o-n-f-a-b-u-l-o-s-o i usually like tweet during the episode so feel free to at me with your opinions and let me know your predictions for tomorrow do we feel like jordan is going to pursue india and if he doesn't do you feel like the word is going to spread around and that's going to cause problems Anna and Jordan and let me know your thoughts on this episode until next time guys bye